Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. You have less than eight seconds to grab someone's attention on your website before they move on. 96% of website visitors are not actually ready to buy from you yet. So how do you make your website successful and convert these visitors into staying longer on your website? The solution is you need a high converting website for optimal success. Hey, it's Kari Watt and thanks for joining me on Kari Cares Digital Strategist episode number 44. This week, I'm going to talk you to what a high converting website is, how a high converting website can help you, why you need a high converting website for your business, and the seven components of a high converting website that you can implement today. Or you can get someone like me to do it for you. It's totally your choice. Now, I get asked a ton of questions from business owners and their teams about websites, and I have answered some of them in this podcast. So keep listening because these are the most common questions I get asked, and you may be wondering how to change your website into a high converting machine or a high conversion machine, I should say. We all know the ultimate goal of having a website is to convert website visitors into warm leads to increase your revenue. Otherwise, why do you have a website, really? Um, If it's just sitting there to look pretty, well, I suppose you could do that, but what's the point if no one's looking at it? If it's your first time listening to Kari Cares, let me introduce yourself. I'm Kari Watt, a digital strategist with nearly two decades of experience in marketing and communications. For the best digital and social media tips to rank higher on Google search, subscribe to Kari Cares Digital Strategist podcast to make sure you never, ever miss out on these tips. Usually I publish these on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I have been a bit slack actually because I'm creating a new SEO course for you and it's taking some time to get that done to be honest. It's a learning curve folks but you know it's it's basically 30 days to successful SEO. If you're interested please head on over to kariwatt.com and sign up for the digital optimization newsletter to know when it opens plus 50 people will receive the course at 50% off. I'm doing that because Kari cares about women helping women and men who could use that helping hand, especially now. So feel free to reach out and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Kari Watt to ask me questions about your website or about today's podcast. Until then, let's begin. Now, as I mentioned before, the main issue of not having a high converting website is you have less than eight seconds to grab the attention of website visitors. Now, this can be done with something as simple as a compelling headline or a landing page, which actually takes a lot more work than most people think a landing page. Oh, it's just a web page. But there's a strategy behind a landing page to entice your visitors to stay. I mean, many websites don't even have a landing page they've just got a home page now during those eight seconds the majority of website visitors leave I have to tell you, they do. They just click on and off they go. If you haven't grabbed their attention in those few seconds, they're gone. And 96% of visitors that come to your website are not actually ready to buy your products and services, which is true. They're just dipping their toes in the pool to see if you have anything they want. Now, they'll be putting a keyword or a search term in Google and your website might pop up. So they'll have a brief look if in that eight seconds you don't have what they want they leave straight away other issues of not having a high converting website include a delayed site speed now if your site speed it takes longer than two to four seconds this can result in seven percent of those visitors leaving straight away incidentally many website owners don't actually do any website testing or 
get a website audit and the list goes on. Now I won't go on because I don't want to despair you because I do a lot of the technical stuff and I'm really interested in this stuff. I I do a lot of digital marketing and content marketing but I love building websites and I love the techie stuff as well. Now a lot of clients ask me okay Kari what is a high converting website? Well that's a good question. A high converting website is built to convert your website visitors into qualified leads or warm leads and then this in turn will result into them being your customers. These websites are SEO friendly. Now SEO means it's search engine optimized that has a highly targeted content. They've got keywords and they have lead capturing elements. Now search engine optimized means that say someone gets on Google and they search in a term say a website agency or website developer and my name pops up and then they click on to my website and they go oh Kari does you know digital strategy and web design or I might click further that's all that means so when a website is search engine optimized it normally ranks high on Google search in layman's terms SEO friendly means that Google loves it can find the content, understands the content and pushes your website up onto page one or the the first couple of pages. Another good question clients ask me is, how does a high converting website help me? A high converting website can turn your website visitors into warm leads rather than cold leads and in turn customers. It also helps you reach more people through organic search on Google, Yelp or Safari or any of those kind of search engines. A high converting website can convert your website visitors into qualified leads through a conversion focused element that attracts new customers. So what I mean by that, I mean this is all a bit technical I guess, but you might have a cold lead where someone hears about your business or uh, finds out on on yellow pages or something like that and they say you know I'm just inquiring about this that's kind of a cold lead or you calling them that's a cold lead a warm lead is someone that gets on your website sees the content that you have and goes you know what I want to know more about this person so I'm going to send them an email that's a warm lead a qualified lead actually is someone that actually wants to do business with you and I've had qualified leads of people on my website I get a lot of spam you know in my contact forms I get a lot of marketing agencies can you believe it sending me an email saying hey we're a digital marketing agency and a web design would you like us and I'm thinking they haven't even looked at my website they basically spammed me but I do get qualified leads where customers go Kari I want to work with you how much is, does it cost to do this I'm thinking of this Now, a high converting website is SEO friendly, like I said, with the right keyword, content, structure and loading speed. This in combination means you get more organic search traffic to your website. So think about how you want to educate your prospects and build credibility. High converting websites are created with a focused targeted content that can attract your prospects through education and this naturally helps you build credibility. So why do you need a high converting website for your business if you're not selling say products online? A website isn't just a platform to publish information about your business, the people, the products and the services. It's a whole lot more. When done correctly, a high converting website will optimize conversions by turning those website visitors into qualified leads, which I keep saying, or inquiries that you can turn into paying customers because once you build a relationship with them, they want to work with you naturally. No matter how your visitors come to your website, whether it's through paid ads or organic search, a high converting website will always help you convert your website visitors into leads very, very easily. So it kind of takes out the the hard work for you when your website's done really well. People start coming to you. There are many components that contribute to a high converting website. Let's look at some of them right now. 
The first one is a landing page. Now, if you intend to sell products and services through your website, then you must have a dedicated conversion optimizing landing page. Think of them like a standalone web page for a specific purpose, such as a lead generation. You'll need one for each of your services. For example, if you have three different services, you must have three different landing pages for each of them. These landing pages should have conversion focused elements and be able to collect leads. It's not just a simple web page. It has a focus to help people make decisions. And those decisions could be to contact you for more information. The second element is an attractive offer. Having an attractive offer on your landing page is really important. An attractive offer will help you convert your website visitors into warm leads. Now, examples of an attractive offer that you can try are, it could be a free consultation, a detailed report, or a white paper. Perhaps you want to offer a discount on your services in exchange for their email address. Now, this is called a lead magnet. Lead magnets can be in the form of free ebooks, checklists, cheat sheets, or sometimes even a free course. Now, the third element of a high converting website is a clear heading. I cannot stress this enough. A visitor that comes to your website should be able to understand what you offer or It should be able to understand the product and services that you offer by just reading the headline. An internal message that you understand, if it's technical and it's full of jargon, your customer may not understand this. So it's really important that you make sure your heading is not complex or it is in a simple and easy to understand language. You'll increase your bounce rate on the page and you will lose website visitors if it's too complex. Now I know this because I've tested on my website many times over the course of five years to see what works well and what doesn't work. And I do this for my customers as well on a regular basis. The bounce rate shows you how your visitor exits your website without becoming a lead or where if it goes to the next page or doesn't buy a product and service. The fourth element is the content that speaks your customer's language. When you use words and phrases that your customers are familiar with, it's much easier for them to connect with your brand. Now this applies on a website. Your high converting website content has to resonate with your target audience language. So you've got to make sure that your content is simple, easy to understand, targeted. When I say targeted, that's with the right keywords that they put in search engines and it's optimized for those conversions. The fifth element is clear call to actions. A call to action, also known as a CTA, is something like a button for them to press or a link that drives your website visitors into taking an action. Now, CTAs can be placed in multiple places on a website, but make sure they are clear and specific. It should tell your visitor exactly where it's going to take them or what benefits they're going to receive. For example, it might say something like, book a free consultation or watch this free demo or register for the webinar. Now, the sixth element of a high converting website is customer testimonials. Trust and credibility are two major factors in converting your website visitors into leads. Make use of client testimonials and even client logos on your website. Mm. I'm a bit, actually, I don't do that enough on my website. I must revisit that because I'm a bit slack. I do the work for everyone else, but not myself. I must look at my website this weekend and get onto that. Having some reputable brands in your client list and showcasing them on your website can positively impact your conversion rates. Now, the seventh element of a high converting website that can boost your conversions on a website is resources and case studies. Resources can be value adding blog posts or videos on your website. These should be targeted to your audience and it should be able to help them solve some of their problems. Case studies are another excellent method to showcase your work and explain how you have helped customers 
with these problems. Now this will be able to boost your credibility. So in conclusion, we've covered why you need a high converting website, what a high converting website is, the seven elements to create a high converting website, which is landing pages, an attractive offer. Third element of is a clear heading. The fourth is content that actually speaks your customer's language. The fifth is clear call to actions. The sixth is our customer testimonials and the seventh is the resources and case studies so there you have it this will all help to build up your credibility as well these aren't the only methods to boost conversions on your website. There are so many other things that can be done, but these are the minimum features a high converting website should have. Now, if you're trying to boost the conversions on your website or the number of leads, make use of these elements to see some results coming in and tune in next time where I discuss what on-page SEO is. Until next week, I'd be grateful if you can like and share this podcast with a friend or colleague who could use a helping hand in their business. Why? Because Kari cares about women helping women and men who can use a helping hand. See you next time. Peace. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.